What's going on ladies and gentlemen, this is Christian Hanno Horror here today, and today guys we're doing a small mail day and also some nice new recommends. These are new horror movies I want you guys to check out, and old horror movies, but a list of movies you want to check out. So these are some uh, late birthday presents, so it's just a couple movies in the mail, so let's check these out. Alright, so the first movie I got is a film by Joe DeMonto. This is from Severn Blu-ray. The trailer and everything look really cool for this. This is called Absurd. Um, the images on the back just look absolute insanity. Toss away those inferior bootlegs and experience sleaze maestro Doamato's infamous follow-up to Anthropophagus like never before, which I have that coming on the way too. Borrowing heavily from Halloween, Damato unleashes gut-spewing Greek boogeyman into suburban America for a gruesome as hell and incredibly sadistic saga of doomed nurses, butchered babysitters, biochemical clergy, and some of the most insane splatter scenes in Italian gore hound history. Wow, so that guy's is absurd. <laughs> I cannot wait to check that out. Uh, I saw this. And I was like, I have to have this. I've got to see this movie. So that is a Severn Blu-ray, guys, of Absurd. Wow. And the other Mail Day pickup, basically recommended to me from my friend Lauren, this is Monster Dog. Now, I am a massive Alice Cooper fan, and this is a Alice Cooper horror movie. Now, this is from the guy who directed uh, Troll 2, I believe, um, or he was part of it. I don't know if he directed it. Claudio Fragasso, that's the name that sounds familiar. I think he wrote it. Uh, maybe he helped on the production. Regardless, a little tidbit about this, guy's Monster Dog is a movie that Alice Cooper made in the earlier 80s. Now, if you know much about Alice Cooper, he was not doing good in the, in the early to mid-80s because he was on cocaine after years of touring and music, and he wasn't in the best place mentally, and he was not doing good. He was losing his record deal with Warner Brothers, and he agreed to do this movie, but I think he didn't want it released in the States at the time of its release. Now, I don't know what really happened with this movie back then, but obviously all these years later, it's clearly been released, and uh, I can't wait to see this. So this is Monster Dog. Now, from what I know, this is a completely ridiculously bad good movie that has to be seen to be believed and as an Alice Cooper fanatic I've got to see it but that artwork's pretty cool so that's Monster Dog and like I said absurd I cannot wait to check this out this looks insane uh, so those are the two kind of late birthday pickups I got for myself so for the recommends the first one I have for you guys is a movie called VFW fantastic I loved VFW so much what a great fun horror movie um Extremely, extremely, extremely good. Um, directed by Joe Bigos, 10 out of 10. Great job. I loved it. Um, a recommend for any horror fan, period. Uh, just a great movie. Can't say enough good things about it. The second recommend I have for you guys is I did really like the Scanner sequels 2 and 3. I liked 3 more than 2, believe it or not. I liked the story of 3 with the girl growing up in the family where she's trying to fight the urges of being a scanner and then the, the government and her dad and everything's trying to stop her. Great stuff. Highly recommend giving these sequels a shot, especially if you love the first one. The next recommend is one of the greatest horror movies I've watched ever, ever. Hobo with a freaking shotgun was absolutely incredible. I can't believe I waited this long to watch this movie. It was that good, guys. Hobo with a shotgun. It has, like, that feel of, like, the movie Street Trash or something. Wow. This movie did not disappoint. Hobo with a Shotgun, 10 out of 10. So good. I loved it. Uh, the next recommend I have for you guys is, in fact, Beyond the Door. I liked Beyond the Door a lot. I, I actually enjoyed it. It felt a lot more like a Rosemary's Baby than an Exorcist to me. And, um, not a complaint there. I really like Beyond the Door. Really bizarre stuff. There's a kid drinking out of cans of pea soup in a car. He's got a straw in a in a can of soup drinking. And it's really bizarre. Uh, but this was a good movie. It, it, it was a little bit long, but that's because I watched the uncut English export version. Um, so maybe the theatrical version will, will play out a little bit better for me. Uh, it's 10 minutes shyer. But you know what? It, Regardless, though, it was a good movie. I'm glad to have it. And I'll definitely rewatch Beyond the Door. It's very interesting. And then my safe, fun, watch this for me. Uh, of course, if you if you watch this, take a picture of it, send it to me on Instagram. 
I gotta give it up to one of my favorites, Return of the Living Dead 2. Give this one a shot again. I love this movie. Great soundtrack. Great fun. If you have the DVD version of it, I urge you all to go back and listen and tell me which soundtrack you like better. I love the DVD soundtrack as much as the Blu-ray soundtrack with the original score. I love them both. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Watch Return of Living Dead do for me. I love this movie. So those are the recommends. And also, we'll, to go well over what I picked up, this is from Severin. Absurd. That sounds incredible. You heard me. You heard what I read to you guys. And also, cannot wait to check out Alice Cooper and Monster Dog. Cannot wait. So thank you guys for watching this video, this description on horror. Please tell me about those recommends, which ones you want to dive into. And also, if you have any insight on the pickups I just got, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Christian in a Horror. See you guys later.